Okay. I'm gonna let you pull my shards. Oh, I thought you were gonna pull them. Oh, I'm gonna pull them? Yeah, you pull them. Oh. For the sake of the video, and there's a progressive chance. For a champion she doesn't know. For a champion I don't know and I don't think is pretty, but it seems like it's good. <laughs> it's like Christmas Groot. Like Christmas Groot. Okay, that's kind of yeah. cute. We're gonna pull shards. Pulling shards. Well, I'm pulling shards. She's pulling shards. I'm doing it. Here She's we go. Done. Here you go. Wait, 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 wait. Start with the blues first. Start with the blues? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lightning. No uh, lightning. You know, it's been a while since I've gone, gone uh, yellow for this. Oh, so you're probably close to Mercy then if it's been a minute. It has been. Oh my gosh. All right, now let's do the 10 pull. Okay. Here we go. Who are you hoping for? Who are you hoping for? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Duchess or something. Well, Duchess, she's never coming to me. Maybe in like three years. Oh. oh. Now you'll be able to progress down here. I mean, I, I doubt you're going to pull that many or buy to get uh, St. Patty. Yeah, I'm not buying. She's back, and the reason she came back was for this fool. She saw this dude was tatted up, head to toe, looking like Captain Jack Sparrow, and she was like, ooh, let me get back into raid. Mm -hmm. So, uh, honey, do you want to uh, you want to explain yourself? This is Liam. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, yeah. And so she did the fusion. Was it a hard fusion? Uh, no, it wasn't, surprisingly, for, for fusions that I've done before. Mm -hmm. I think, what was the hardest fusion? Brogni, but you weren't playing when Brogni was a No, fusion. he was there, and I was, like, a couple shards away from getting him, and I never got to get him. Yeah, that was before you decided to let go of the free-to-play lifestyle. Yeah, I was free-to-play, and then, um, what's her face? Mommy. This one? Yeah, she came out. Elva. Oh, Elva came in. And then... Mommy. I think I spent like two to three hundred dollars. Trying to cop that? Trying to trying to get that. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So she saw Elva and was like, yo, I gotta dig into that. But um, she yeah. she wasn't that hard to... to get. Was she a fusion, actually? Oh, no. She was a, she was a 20 shards guaranteed. I think like you had to pull like 20 shards together. And she yeah. was a guaranteed champion. Oh, so then it was Oella. Oella was a fusion, for sure. That was the one yeah. that I was struggling with. But she was a guaranteed. She has Nut, so she did the Nut fusion too. That one was pretty hard. I think, uh, I recall that, that one That one I difficult. spent money. Yeah, yeah, I think this one I spent money for also. <laughs> but this is her, her current account. She's got some bangers in here. She's got Sun Wukong, of course. She's got Oella, Sil. She's got Theodore. She's got Sneak Track. She's she's got Uko, Artek, Elva, Rhonda. Yeah, she's got some S tier champs. She's got Emic. So you know we're gonna be building uh, him at 271 for like three different Ascension dungeons and maybe even Hydra later. Got Seer. I've known so many players who spend years playing raid and they don't even get a single Seer. And she pulled um, Seer pretty early on. I just I finally got my pain keepers. Yeah, she got two pain keepers right here. She has two cold hearts. She's got a renegade. I got four cold hearts, I think. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. She's been buying voids. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cold hearts. She's got Supreme Elhain. Of course, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll just showcase what is uh, going on in your account. This is her current Great Hall. She's not too into PvP. Yeah, I'm working on that. This is where she's at with the missions. Yeah. So she's almost to Arbiter. She's almost there, and uh, these are the dungeons. That she she's not really doing Iron Twins yet. Mm -mm. She's mainly focusing on doing Ice Golem. So she's got the twenty there. Spider, she's at twenty twenty one there. Dragon twenty. Fire Knight, doing twenty also, and then not bothering with the Ascension dungeons. What do you like about Raid? And uh, we'll start with that. What do you like about Raid? I like the pretty pretty champions. Like Rhonda. Sure. <laughs> I just realized she has a belly piercing. Oh, yeah. Anyways, um, I like the checklist of the things that we have to do. 
checklists are good. It's entertaining. It kind of just fills up time when I'm bored. When she's just <laughs> sitting on the TV. She just needs something to do on her phone. Yeah. What I don't like is how they're setting up a lot of things so that it has to be... You have to spend at least 40 bucks. At least. Like this last fusion I still spent, I don't know, like 60 bucks to get him. And it's so hard. Another thing is that it's so hard to get specific champs that you really want. Mm -hmm. Like a duchess, you know, you've been trying for three years and your husband has his third duchess and you're over here like, I don't even have one. You pulled my second one for me, so... <laughs> that one hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I think it's fun. Why did you quit Raid? Or why did you stop for like seven months? Why did you take a seven month break? I took a break when... When did I take a break? Well, you took the break sometime after Sun Wukong because you, you logged in and you got him. Mm -hmm. And I think right around when Sun Wukong was first released, you just stopped playing. Yeah. Um, and you got Artak from Call of the Arbiter for sure, yeah. but you didn't you didn't pop back in time for Rathalos, so there's oh, that. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, she didn't come back for Monster Hunter, but she came back for get, for Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, I should have come back sooner because I did really want those. But then, even then, I was like, I don't want to come back for characters that I would love to have when it's just gonna be freaking difficult to to get them in the first place yeah um but i stopped because i really just wasn't feeling it anymore like it was just the same the same thing it was, got really repetitive but then i did see that they started adding all these different dungeons and the curse city mm -hmm. i thought that was really cool so that made me want to come back hmm. like doing more things and recently you pulled these champions from shards right you pulled war chief and who else did you pull oh i got um the fusion one. Oh yeah she pulled a <laughs> rosin that was a... oh here you got more champions in here oh yeah there's more in there yeah she's got more champions got a pot elagias iron brago is pretty huge truath is okay hmm. good mischief tank for hydra she pulled rosin she's got drex she's got two allures so dark fey right there she's got two Ugo oh three ugos i got four Oh, she's got four of those. So she's got Hydra teams put together. She's just she just needs the gear, but it's um, in, reserve. in the reserves, it's just probably your champions that you're putting for the faction guardians. Oh. And then here's her current gear. She's following my advice and keeping only the best of the best, especially um, because she doesn't spend so much as I do in raid. It's not like she's coked out in gear. Just just don't look at the at the accessories. <laughs> Oh, she hasn't been <laughs> she hasn't been following the the gear cleanse guide for uh, accessories, but that's okay. That and also she's not doing she's not like speedrunning dungeons. I feel like when you're end game, it's easy to get gear or get gear and to get silver because you're doing the dungeons and you're speedrunning them. And plus, mm -hmm. uh, if you're like me and you just spend money, you're just gonna have energy all the time, pretty much. They added the cursed city. It seems like you were having a little bit of fun doing that. You were working on hard here. And uh, you made some good progress. I did not. I did not even help her through any of this. She did most of this by herself, except for like one stage. I think it was the Dark mm -hmm. Fey. I basically manualed it for her. Yeah. Um, that was actually in the Doom Tower. That wasn't in the Curse City. So mm -hmm. this one right here. Do you think that you will end up staying in Raid? Are you gonna? Do you think that there's enough within Raid now to keep you staying in Raid? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll continue to play and try to get through the missions because I really do want to get to the end of them. And now that they have another thing in the mission that's true. to get through, that's even more stuff to do, which I really like. So. Yeah. yeah. Are you still going to only go for the champions that you think are pretty? Because that was her thing. When she first started Raid, <laughs> she was like, oh, I want to go for this one because this one's good looking. Or I want to go for this one because she's pretty. Or Syl because she's hot. <laughs> or freaking cold heart looks you know you know yeah or in supreme l.a and she's like oh she's pretty so yeah you think you'll stay mm -hmm. yeah just just keep coming out with more uh pretty champions do you think that me being a content creator for raid has anything to do with you wanting to play raid i mean i played it before you became a content creator i played it because you told me about it mm -hmm. and i was interested did it have to do with 
me waking up at three or four o'clock in the morning every single night to hit the clan boss? Yeah, you know, this guy was waking up at three in the morning to go hit the clan boss. He'd be like, I'm just, I have to hit the clan boss. And I'm like, what is he doing? Like, I want to know what this is. Like, what, what is this life that you've chosen for yourself? And this was before the clan boss had uh, infinite health. There was a time in Raid where you basically had to fight other members of your clan to put damage into the clan boss because once the clan boss lost all of its health, then you couldn't hit it anymore. And that, that used to be a point of uh, contention for a lot of clans. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was waking up that early. And I don't have that problem anymore, but yeah, she, those, those, were, uh, those were some hard nights. <laughs> She turns around, she's like, what are you doing on your phone? You like, nothing? Like, He's probably cheating on me. I'm like, nope, I'm just hitting the clan boss. <laughs> like, who are you texting? The clan boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I love you. I love you.